seen that many head of states, uh, religious leaders, or even the Pope coming out and speaking in favor of Libya. Yes. Why is our Marja Shistani so quiet till today when it comes to Bahraini Shias? And uh, while we can see on the TV that there's the Mohor, the Quran, the Mafati are being uh, disrespected and being destroyed on our eyes. Why is our Marja quiet on this issue then? Uh, your information, my respected brother, is not up to the date. The Marja of the Shia or all the Maraja, none of the Maraja, no one from them is keeping quiet. If you are unaware, please ask. In fact, I have more details that our Marja of Taqlid is after this matter continuously. And no one can put false allegation on any of our marjas that they are keeping quiet. How can they keep quiet? Their hearts are burning and they are doing everything to stop this tragedy. So this statement that why the marja is keeping quiet is completely unfair. It is not the truth. No, they are not quiet. They are doing their best. But we are facing a political system which is full of hypocrisy. The international community is claiming to defend the human rights in Libya because they want the oil of Libya, the petrol of Libya. And they are not doing anything to defend the human rights in Bahrain because they don't want to displease the tyrants who are doing the injustice and suppression and violating human rights against the people of Bahrain. So the double standard of the Western leaders here is very clear. They are big hypocrites. If they are really after human rights and after the human values that they are claiming to be for, they should defend human rights everywhere. Yes. No, you cannot put allegation on the marja. You say, you can say, I, you don't know, but you cannot put allegation without knowledge, my respected brother. I cannot say that. Yes, please. I mean, we should put our questions in a proper way. I cannot come and accept someone who says, why your prophet of Islam saw the injustice on women by ignorant Arabs and kept quiet. I said, the question is, is wrong. The prophet never kept quiet. He was always with the truth and against the wrong. So always we should put the question in the proper way. Yes, we have to object on the hypocrites who are not doing anything to support the victims just because of their political games or games. I hope that everyone our brothers, our sisters, can talk to you, his own or her own MP, your own MP. Call him or email him. Tell him to raise his voice to support the victims in Bahrain. They are human beings after all. Women are being tortured and killed. Men are being tortured and killed. Even children are being tortured and killed. And the human rights people, those who claim to be defenders in America and in other Western countries, are not doing enough at all. So we have to do our best to demand a real stand to support the victims who are suffering and they are not being given any attention just because of their religious faith and because the oppressors are holding the oil and the hypocrite Western political leaders don't want to displease 
the oil sheikhs and let the human beings go to hell. That is not the values. That is the hypocrisy which we have to stand against. Yes, please. Um, Aha, one last question. I've just received a text. Are her words the same value as the imams for us? No doubt the status of Fatima alayhi salam is greater than the status of all her sons and grandsons. Okay? And she is hujjat. She is an authority on her, all the imams from her, I mean her children and grandchildren. Yes. And her orders must be obeyed by every believer in Islam because her orders are the orders of the Prophet. As he said, she is part of me. Bad'atun minni. Yurdini ma yurdiha. Yarda Allahu liridaha. Allah is pleased when she is pleased. So then her orders are the orders of the Prophet and every order of the Prophet is the order of Allah. Yes, please. Oh, we the are brother who had the question, I, if he can call again to put his other questions. Next week, inshallah. We are running out of time now. Thank you, viewers, for taking interest in the topic.